Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of learning to trust the universe. One of the illusions in life is that we have complete control of the future. Yes, of course, we have the ability to be the creators of our own destiny and make our dreams happen. But there are also things that are out of our control. Take COVID-19, for example. It's not something anyone expected and we are all now learning how to deal and cope with the new normal. The point is, there are often things that are out of our control. We always have two options to go by when things don't go as planned, to live in fear or to trust the universe. When we learn to let go and give up the need of control of every outcome and trust the universe when things don't go as planned, we give a message to the universe that we have faith in the process. By letting go and having faith, we restore our peace and happiness in uncertain times. As Abraham Hicks quotes, the entire universe is conspiring to give you everything you want. Next up on the show, on this celebrity edition of my show, we have celebrity entrepreneur Gianluca Vacci and model and entrepreneur Sharon Fonseca. Gianluca and Sharon, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for having us. We're doing fine, thank you. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Thank you. <laughs> Pleasure to be here with you. Yeah, I'm so excited to have you guys. Now, I know that Italy was stuck pretty hard with COVID-19. How are you guys coping right now? So we're taking all the precautions, of course. We are still doing quarantine in the house. And, and of course, we're taking all the precautions like masks, alcohol uh, in the hands, trying to keep everything as clean as possible. But yeah, it was a pretty hard time here. It was very scary, actually, for our loved ones and our friends that were here. We spent the quarantine in Miami. Now we are here, but we spent the quarantine in Miami. Here we are doing a forced quarantine because we are coming from the U.S. Now the situation here is much better than it was. You know that Italy has, has been the first country to be affected by the virus. And, but now things are getting better and better. I want to say, I forgot to say it first, but congratulations. I know that you guys are expecting a baby. That's so exciting. How are you guys feeling? <laughs> Thank you so much. We're very excited about, about this news. And of course, we're living every, every day like a, like a new adventure, you know, uh, like a the new symptom, doing the controls, like everything is new for, for both. So, so we're enjoying every step of the way. And John Luca, I know that your company is supplying masks for um, hospitals that are dealing with COVID-19. Talk to us about that. Our company helped the government, the Italian government, to realize the machineries to produce masks in a very short time and uh, working with the civil protection uh, we, 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 we will be able to produce up to 35 million masks per day through our machine. And, and talk to us about the importance of giving back for both of you. For us, it, it, it's always been very present to us. Not only, well, we have helped a lot the situation in my country because you know that in Venezuela, the situation right now, it's not very good. So we try to have that with us always um, and try to do our best to, to give back to the community. Um, yeah, through a message or we have recollected um, medical things, supplies and, and food. It's always very important for us, especially also Dan did um, help with, the, with his community here in Italy after the, the COVID. So it's always, you know, to get close to the community and be connected to what, what's happening in the moment. Giving back is part uh, of our structural philosophy. You know, is 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 without that kind of approach, you cannot like you cannot leave the modern era. You know, because uh, of course uh, we have heard 
in this period a lot of this word social distancing. In the reality, in the virus case, the word is not correct because we should talk about physical distancing. But in the reality, the contemporary era is the era of the social distancing because the difference between people that can and, the, and people that cannot is getting bigger and bigger. So giving back is really very, very important. And, and, and we have uh, really present in our souls and in our minds. You know? For this COVID-19, we did uh, all what we could do uh, through giving uh, to hospital in the area here, uh, up to helping the government with the machinery to produce the mask and blah, blah, blah. Both of you have such a healthy lifestyle. I know, John Luca, I always see your amazing workouts. Um, you even have your own exercise bike. What are some tips and tricks that you both can give to for everyone to stay fit? <laughs> I think he's the, yeah, you're the king of that. I'm, 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 you're so king. First of all, first of all, uh, my beloved, uh, my beloved fiance uh, is uh, uh, naturally held by two things. By the fact that nature has been so kind with her, first, and okay. second, she's super young. Anyways, it's very, she's very committed and she, she follows me in the healthy life. For me, the, the, the story is totally different because I'm getting older and older. <laughs> I said you both look amazing and Gianluca, you're super fit. I, when I see your videos and I see you doing push-ups no, and all these things, am, it's... Thank you very much, for, thank you very much, first of all, but I am super committed on... On, 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 on my mental and physical condition. Under the physical aspect, uh, what I think generally is that uh, our body is the only house we are forced to live in, you know, and all the other places we can choose, but the body is the only place where we are forced to live. So we have to keep it clean and healthy if possible. Uh, so I'm vegan. I eat very healthy and I and I train almost every day. I mean, I never I, I try never to miss one day for training. Even when I'm touring, doing the DJ, doing the, my, my DJ touring, I I train when, uh, wherever and whenever I arrive in any new destination. And when I'm home here is the occasion to train twice a day in the morning and in the afternoon. So, but because, you know, if you want to respect uh, the world, life, others, first of all, you have to respect yourself mentally, but even physically. I, I, I totally disagree with people that are not taking care about their body because of what I said before. If you want to respect yourself, you have to keep uh, uh, both aspects, mental and physically, Possible, possibly in good shape, which it, which doesn't mean being like super super yeah. slim and super fit, you know. It doesn't mean that. No, it means being uh, it means being healthy, you know. It means being healthy. Some kilos more never killed anyone, you know. You have to feel comfortable with yourself in what you consider being your best yeah. condition, you know. You know. Yeah, I. 100% agree and you know both of you have such a great mindset you guys are always you radiate such positive energy how do you preserve your mental health and keep happy individually it's very important to to find our happiness inside because uh, we got a question about oh are you guys your happiness is always like together like as a couple and I truly believe that you find your happiness individually and two happy people find each other and share that happiness. You don't have to like depend on each other to be happy. So, and also Jan, uh, you have grown through so many problems, through so many, um, yeah, like yeah. obstacles in life and, and finding that philosophy of like finding the good side of it and, and learning about every situation. I think it makes you stronger. Yeah, yeah. Basically, um, 
at the base of my energy and of my happiness, uh, the happiness that everyone can see, uh, but I prefer to say good energy than happiness, you know, because happiness is something is something strange, you know, because for in a certain sense, I am never happy because I'm always in a challenge with myself. So at the base of the good energy that I can spread to myself and to others, there's the awareness that life is really and literally the most important gift and that we are passing through this life and it's not eternal. So at the end of the day, we have to try, we have to, try to enjoy every second because yeah. this is really the only unique thing. And I'm trying to focus myself more on time than on any other thing, uh, material thing in, or stuff in the world. I think that's great. And you know, some people, especially with social media, they might see your Instagram, they see you both having such lavish life lifestyles, but both of you have worked very hard and, you know, are successful because of your work ethic. Let's talk about the key to both of your success. Of course, uh, Sharon, you're a successful model and uh, Gianluca, you're a successful entrepreneur. So let's talk about the key to your success. What do you think sets you apart from others? I think a uh, discipline. I always try to to keep myself grounded and have my priorities straight. To me, finishing school with good grades, uh, working and my family were my priorities, like even going out or like having, having fun or <laughs> I travel because of my work, but having that luxury time, I, ha I always had in mind that I, I wanted to achieve my goals so so discipline has always been very important for me and that's something i also learned when i when i met him when i saw that he he's such a disciplined person like not only with his body but with everything he does um and i really admire that about someone you know like being disciplined and and never start working for what you want to achieve by my side uh, the secret is dreaming uh possibly dreaming impossibly you know and the more the biggest were the dreams that i was doing the more i was committed and disciplinated and uh, like to, to 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 achieve them through through big fights through resiliency through resistance uh, never giving up you know, and, 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 and this was this was the key, you know, and, 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 and doing everything with big passion because you can achieve dreams, even big dreams that you think that, that, that you cannot achieve if you believe in it and you do it with with a big passion, never giving up. Yeah, I, I think that's extremely important, not giving up because you just don't know. I think anything is possible. You never know what you'll accomplish if you just keep trying. Um, you know, you guys have been quarantined together. I'm sure you've learned a lot as a couple. What's one thing you've learned about each other during, during this time? <laughs> yeah, so I think the first thing I mean, I could say we learned is that we're experiencing this new time of our life to be parents. So, so we're learning <laughs> a lot about that. We're, we're learning about every little symptom. I'm learning a lot about my body, um, how he has helped me so much to understand it too, like every every situation when I'm feeling bad, when I maybe I have a little bit of like <laughs> bad mood or something. So, so yeah, and as for now, we have shared so much about that. Personally, I didn't feel the necessity to be quarantined to learn something about Sharon because we spent a lot of time together talking even before of course and even i didn't need to reset to get back to the essential because i'm an essential man i'm a man that always appreciate a, a, a walk in the countryside even if i can have everything or or materially everything you know? uh, so i didn't even need that but um, by the way, we had the chance to get deeper in appreciate in appreciating 
even the value of one hour of freedom. And this is something that the humanity really needed to get back. Really, if there is a lesson that you humans have to like um, learn from this from this moment is that really nothing has to be given for granted because everything is an achievement you know uh, even something that before was considered for granted and of course now problems are huge because that the economical crisis because of unemployment because of many things but there is something even good that humanity understood that at the end of the day sometimes going back to the essential to the real love to the to the family can give you a big strength that you can use when times will be better don't forget not forgetting not for the, not forgetting Mm -hmm. 100%. I think everyone's coming out of this a lot more grateful for everything that they have and hopefully not taking anything for granted. I, last but not least, I want to talk about, do you have any upcoming projects, both of you? I'm coming out with a project uh, in June, just in a few weeks. I'm super excited because I've worked so much for the last year on it and we had to reschedule obviously the dates because of the pandemic, but finally I'm super excited. I feel like my it's like my first baby <laughs> coming coming up no i have many projects yeah. like always uh, uh but you know i'm i'm, I'm super curious uh, i want to study everything i want to understand i want to i want to gamble and gamble again on my on my capability of renewing myself and what is around me so i have projects yes yeah. I have many projects. <laughs> um, you know, I'm, I'm studying about my third life because I, I had one as an entrepreneur, a second one as a celebrity and DJ, and now I'm studying what could be my third life. So <laughs> I have many, have many, many challenges that, that, that have to come. Well, thank you guys so much for being on the show. I want to congratulate you again on your baby on the way. It's very exciting. And, you know, keep up the great work and keep inspiring. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank it you. It was so a much. pleasure being with you. Thank you so much for your good. Thank you. Bye bye. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.